Alright, I am back, and today I'm going to be playing Dishonored 2. Anybody who's actually sat through my Let's Play the first game will know that it's one of my favourites of all time. So when they announced the sequel, I was really excited to get it. But, unfortunately, I've had to put off playing this game for a very long time, simply because I wasn't getting any opportunities to sit down and record anything. And I knew, especially for this game, that I'd want to sit down, record it all, upload it to YouTube, with kind of my first blind playthrough intact. So, that's what I planned on doing, and it just took me a very long time to get the opportunity to actually sit down and do this. Which also kind of explains why my channel went dead for a while there, and I apologize for that. But hopefully, this game will mark a return to a more regular uploading schedule for my channel. Now, I know practically nothing about this game, except what was revealed in the very first trailer for it, which was that you will get the opportunity to play as either of these two fine characters here, Emily or Carvel. I'm not sure if they're going to do that in an episodic kind of way, or if you'll get a choice, but I'm really interested to find out concerning the fact that the first game kind of wrapped up the storyline in a very neat way towards the end. So I'm really excited to see where the storyline goes with this. Another side note just before I dive in is the fact that during the time I couldn't record I decided to try and use it wisely and upgraded my recording setup by a substantial amount which included getting a new microphone so hopefully that helps out the quality of my videos a lot because last microphone had started to develop some very weird pitch issues that I hated so I took the step to try to improve that hopefully it all works out and everything runs smoothly but enough stalling let's just dive straight into this game okay we shall adjust the brightness here I know YouTube kind of darkens things a little bit so that seems about right we have a campaign we have a tutorial options let's check out the good stuff first because there's something here I want to change. Subtitles, none. This cannot be. Uh, let's go for main dialogue, because I feel like all dialogue would be kind of weird. Very down seems fine. We're going to just hit back. Yes, apply the settings. And every else should be fine, basically. Tutorial, I don't believe I'll need. I'm in love with the loading kind of screen, title screen here already. It's very rare you actually get to see Carvo's face. Also, the DLC, the, the Outsider, all things going well, and my schedule remaining clear, I will definitely be doing that next, because that looks awesome. That's weird. I don't know what that clockwork thing is, but I'm sure I'm going to find out. Yeah, that, that doesn't look promising. Medium. Okay, it makes them look a little bit heroic there. Uh, easy. Enjoy the scenery and narrative. Exploring at a leisurely pace. Enemies of limited perception. Elixirs. Yeah, yeah. Tailored for players familiar with first person action games. For vet Wow. For veterans of Dishonored or players who enjoy a challenge, enemies are perceptive, tenacious, and more dangerous in combat. A brutal experience for highly skilled players. That is not me by any stretch of the imagination. That seems insane. I, do, I don't think I've ever come across a game that allowed you to customize your actual difficulty. I'm not sure what you go with, medium or hard. Veterans of Dishonored. You know what? I played the first one today. I haven't played this one. I've got nothing to prove. Uh, yeah, let's start the tutorial. As Emily Colman, ruler of the Empire of Dials, you have numerous enemies. Your father is Lord Carvo Atano, infamous royal protector and spy master. In the, yeah, in the series, in the years since you took the throne, Carvo has spent many hours training you in the arts of stealth and combat. Sprinting, one of 18. Wow. Let's not have 18 tutorial levels on how to sprint, please. I remember training with my father in the years after the rat plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. Whoa. Okay. 
mobility training. Meet up with your owl lad. And you better run, rats. I'm come for you. The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. Hmm. You could be doing better, Emily. Let's be honest. Warning! Don't be a douchebag and you will get by just fine. Woohoo! The camera is kind of a little bit floaty. What training regimen does Father have in store for me? Alright, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. I, I skipped something there or whatever. Seemed like Emily was just asking, you know, what bullshit am I going off to do today? Okay! I need to do something about this! Because that is really fucking floaty! Uh, Sensivity is a 41. Oh, God. Uh, do I want to just get used to it? Uh, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. I shouldn't start resetting shit right off the bat. Right. Press B to crouch. I am already a master assassin. Uh huh? Whoa. That was one hell of a power slide. Jack Black would be proud. Whoa, that's cool. Don't fucking tell me to hurry, I am worrying, you jackass. Halt. Yeah. And this game is beautiful. Uh, and floaty. I'm alright. I'm like the Empress, right? Huh? Yeah. All right, moving the water. Swim faster as a sprint. A to okay. A to rise, B to go lower. Right. All right, fine. Man, Emily can fucking swim, dude. All right, I nearly drowned. Whatever. I didn't drown. That's the main thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I should be looking for secrets. Was that a... Okay, I thought it was a rat scurrying. X near chain. I heard this shit being really screwy in the first Dishonored. Aha! I am an elite. Spend every day running and jumping. No. I forget the name of the actress who actually voiced Emily in the first one. But, I know she was recognizable. She's that chick with the uh, blonde hair. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, boy! Jump up and grab the edge to climb over. Yeah, but I already did it. Don't worry about it. Hey! Well, let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Ah, oh, that's never good. Stealth! Press B to toggle stealth mode. Crouching down, walking silently, your visibility in stealth mode is greatly reduced. Uh, buying cover and out of sight to avoid enemy to... Uh, to avoid being detected. Uh, further away, above them, at the edge of their peripheral, in shadow. Matters more at a distance. Uh, enables you to take cover under chests or tables. Lure enemies away, distract them by throwing an object such as a bottle or setting the alarm on a clock. Right. Choke Carvo Tano. Father's always on about the value of quiet feet. Well, that's a dead whale. It's kind of gruesome. Good. That's what I love about this art. How brutally gruesome it was. Ah! <laughs> when enemies begin to attack you, an awareness meter is displayed overhead, gradually filling up. A full white meter means the enemy will search for you, a full red meter means you have been detected. God. I wish that fish hadn't delivered that tutorial to me, but whatever. Uh, yeah, you see, not an old man. If you're quick enough with the chokehold, that's one more person who gets to wake up and go home. Oh, come on. Move up quietly and apply a chokehold. I fucking would if you'd stop telling me how to do it. Alright, here we go, here we go. I got this shit. Most people won't notice you. Ah! Wow, that takes forever. That's my girl. I want 
pickpocketing, right? Oh, I can, my friend. Locked door. Don't worry. I can go get me that key. Wait, what? Yeah. There we go. Aha! <laughs> Surprise, old man! Did I fail that? I'm pretty sure I failed that. Whoa! <laughs> the game wasn't sure if I failed it. Oh, God, I was sprinting. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> God damn it, right? Enough fuck around here. Oh, come on! I heard that. Right, right. Let's not sprint and power slide this time. I got your car, ball. He was covered to stay out of sight. Didn't do anything. Didn't do Hmm. Quite a poetic man, Carbo. You'd never think it to look at him. Ooh, a crossbow! Emma's hardware, eh? I'm not sure anybody needs to see Emma's hardware. Ah. Uh, gonna take that. Gonna take that. Uh, I'm not gonna start that just yet. Ooh. So what's the point in the metronome? I have no idea. I'm sure it will become apparent. Okay, no, that was bad. I actually cannot see it. Alright, well, I think I've already fucked this. Ah, ah, wow. Okay, yeah, I was aiming far too high. Those are set above the bottles, not directly on them. Got it. Now I can see it, because I thought this thing up here was the stand that the bottle was resting on. No, it wasn't. There, I did it. Turnbuckle? Uh, I need more crossbow bolts. There we go. Right, what's a turnbuckle? Well, it locks onto it. Damn it! I'm just trying to shoot one of the rats. How many of these can I hold? Six. Yeah! Man, you're big! I'm confused. It was a mercy killing you all side. Yeah. Time for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? <laughs> Let's. Right, yeah. Whoa, okay, that's... I kinda held the trigger. I'm not sure why. You hit home. That's my daughter. Right, so now I guess this is gonna be the same combat system as in one. Left trigger, right? No, right bumper. I am! Did you hit that? If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. I'm pretty sure he did. All right, let's do it. Ow! All right, is that you? <laughs> I was pressing left trigger. Smart move. Hey! Stop even the most black-hearted killer. I'd hope so. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into a few. Even in combat. Oh, this sounds interesting. Right. Ow. Ow. Wait a minute. Please stop that. My enemy- I can't read what you swing at me, asshole! Ah, there we go, yes. God. Alright. While they're off balance, deliver a fatal blow. Yeah, that kinda seems more my style. Was that it? There we go. I thought that was. Yeah, okay, but there we go. Ah, ha, ha! Uh, ow. When someone swings a sword at you, block. I did it. Feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. When trouble does. 
does finally come, you're ready to fight. Man, it is really weird being face to face with Carvel. Today marks the anniversary of the death of Empress Jasmine Colwyn, assassinated 15 years ago. Visitors from across the Empire Dials have journeyed to Domal Tower for the occasion. There shall be drinking whores for everyone. <clears throat> I ain't skipping this. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atana, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Execute them all. It's the only way to be sure. Get Carvo to do it. He likes that sort of thing. Thanks for the blinding screen, game. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. Then get the fuck out of my way. Empress coming through. <laughs> All hail her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Guess I pronounced her name wrong. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easy. No, he pronounced it right. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Nice haircut, guard. That is one hell of a draw. I like it. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Circonos. I heard there's nothing there but thieves and whores. Special gifts. That's intriguing. Uh oh. Duke of Circonos. Yeah. Those are those things. Amazing. No, terrifying. Ramsey, I didn't authorize those things. The blades for hands. The and royal protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine called. Your rightful Empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister. My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. 
But now I'm home. If I'm sure she's not the villain. Sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah! First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? <laughs> Ah, shit! Okay, I get to pick who I play as right here! Alright then! Ruler of the Empire of Dials, trained in stealth and combat by your father, Carvo. Or, legendary royal protector to the Empress, and figure of infamy from the time of Rapleck. Holy shit! Okay, I did not think about this before I sat down to record! I guess I'll be uh, playing through this once as one, and then restarting as the earth to see how to differ, so I don't think it really matters, but, oh man, okay, I'm, uh... oh, <laughs> I don't know which to play as, man, I mean, Emily would be a nice change of pace, but I have played as Carbo the entire first game. But it looked like she just took the outsider brand from him, so that's not good. He has his own signet ring. That's kind of cool. Ah, oh, crap, what am I going to do? I like Carvo's clothes better. That's kind of where I am at the moment. Oh, man. I hope all their decisions in the game aren't this hard. Alright, I think I'm actually going to stick with Carvo here. He served me well in the first Dishonored. And I'm hoping it kind of doesn't really matter one way or the other. So let's just go with him for the time being. Oh god, it made me second guess myself. Why? Let's do it, buddy. Yeah, because that worked out so well the first time. My father lost it all. Sent me to the city watch one step of begging. Think I have to take your orders? Corvo Itano, son of a Zirconian tradesman. <laughs> Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? Oh, shit. Oh, Captain Mayhew. I liked her. Oh, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in hand? I'm going to get that sword back. You're going to regret it. There's a legend in the City Watch. The Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers, is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. Ah, the signet ring. What? What happened? Alexei. The throne room. Emily. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Wait a minute, did they, did they even tie me up or anything?
He's old blood, one of the good families. And now that he's helped the rightful Empress take the throne, these bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Sirkanos. Hmm. Where's my sword? It was there, was it? All right, yeah, that didn't even tie me up. Maybe I should just spit it. Pick a place to lick my wounds. Yeah. I've got to regroup. I, I don't want you licking your spare time, Carvo, but we do not need to hear about it. Yeah, whatever. I leave it all. Just binge eat my troubles away. Let's not set the alarm. Yeah, that looks like how I'd go here. Typewriter. Alright, let's go check out this note over here. Man, those chairs look fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> Tivian Trade Commission. Oh, God. How expensive is this shit going to be? Not too bad. As you know, Frey from Sir Conus Bound for Tivia is now routinely set upon by pirates who spoiled with blood flies in addition to lots of Tivian lives, uh, be the crew, dock workers, or yada yada. Terrible cost of cargo itself. Uh, da -da. Independent qualified inspectors at all ports. Patrols to defend against pirates and dickheads. Compensation for the previous and future losses. Uh, Demian. Shurigan, Shurigin, job, yeah, right. Some douchebag. I want to see the name in case we run into him later. Ship launch protocol. <laughs> Shake down crews, man. All right. Advisor Wainwright. Uh, that is not Alexi. Her name was Hewart, I believe. All right. I can set an alarm, what would be the point? Let's see what a typewriter is, or what it does. I know what a typewriter is. Alright, this appears to be getting me nowhere. Let's spin our globe. Alright, guess that's like Swordfish C. I finally get a frog unstuck from this old clock when she was 11. I swear I'll find a way to fix this. To bring her back. Come check out the alarm! You ass! Alright, the typewriter is done, nothing. There's... There's nothing else on this fucking desk. I need a weapon! I desperately want my blink ability back. Whoa! Okay, that window is actually open. has a way of turning sour. Just as soon as you get comfortable. Okay, that's quite the drop. Hmm. Quite the awful and weird reflection on the water. Alright, I guess I can't. Yep, that seems about right. Uh, probably jump and swing around this. No. How do I get around you then? Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, no. Okay. Hmm. Can I, like, hang off the edge? No. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright. First step of the series. Good! Some might call it a little bit embarrassing. I prefer to look at it as a bit of a uh, learning experience. Right! Escape the Royal Chambers. There's no trapdoors up high. I have to Emily get a frog unstuck. Right, so can I actually pick this? Then. I swear I'll find a way to fix this. To bring her back. Royal Quarter key needed. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Sir Carlos. You'd be smart to remember that. 